Hello everybody, this is Cheryl and I'm glad that you're here. Um, I'm sure that most of you will watch this eventually, <laughs> likely sometime in the middle of January, but that will be fine. Um, we're still working on our um, notebook, our composition notebook that started off, for those of you who are just joining, started off as one of these. And um, we've covered the front We've covered the inside, we covered the back, and we covered this side. Last night when I was looking at it, it's just, I mean, as adorable as I think this is, it is going to a woman in Canada. And I thought, you know what, I, I really want to jazz this up a little bit. I want to make it look more feminine. So I took out my ribbon, had it everywhere. I really wish somebody were here so that they could yell at me and say, choose that, because I just didn't know what to do. Anyway, I added some white ribbon, and then on top of that, I had some velvet um, color that, that, that matched, you know, well enough, and I was so grateful that I had enough. And um, so I did the front, and I did the back, just to kind of give it some, you know, a feminine look, and I don't know if you can see that, but anyway. That's what it looks like. It's a velvet on top of just a girl green ribbon with a little bit of silver stitching in it. And that's it. And I glued one down and then I glued the other. And then um, I found this um, on Graphic Fairies. I've belonged to Graphic Fairies for two years and I really, really like it. I mean, if I'm looking for something, I go on Graphic Fairies. I type in what I'm looking for and bang, I have a gazillion things to choose from. So and it's not expensive. Um, you do have to pay attention to copyright, but um, um, they're very good about that. So they, they, they'll let you know if it's copyrighted or not, if it's something you can sell or give away or what have you. This is a gift, so I didn't have to go searching, but I did, I did see that this is not copyrighted. So if I did want to sell it, I could, but I have no intentions on it. This is a gift for a person that I am in a swap with. So um, I added the piece of um, uh, tracing paper because um, I've journaled my whole life since I was, as long as I could remember. Um, I got my first diary when I was nine. And so um, I'd say my journaling started probably around 13. Um, and I just, as I got older, I would, um, I had many journals, <laughs> but I, got, I always liked journals and books that started off with just, you know, something nice, something very pretty and elegant. And that's what, you know, my intentions is for this is to take something so ordinary and turn it into something, you know, really beautiful. Um, because yeah, you know, lots of us, you know, we look at things and, you know, I just want the person who receives this to really, you know, engage with it, whether they do some art journaling or writing or um, maybe place photos, whatever they want to do with this, I want them to be excited about it when they get up in the morning or before they go to bed at night. I want them to, to be like, oh, I can't wait to get to my journal because it's pretty and it's and it's fun. So um, anyway, I thought that this was a good winter picture. So I added that after we um, left last night. I also added um, a piece of blue paper, like I had said I was going to do. Um, this is just scanned into my computer. You can get this. This is actually a digital, I think. Um, it could have been graphic theories. I'm not positive, but it comes in all pastel colors because I'm a real pastel person. So I did scan some pink um, avocado stained paper. It didn't scan as well as I wanted it to, but I'm still going to use it because although it's not as vibrant as the avocado paper is, um, it's still pink. I mean, when you look at the difference, it's still pink. So the reason for this ribbon is one, it's decorative, it looks really pretty, and it also covers up a multitude of sins. <laughs> um, when I went to round the corner with my corner chomper, 
I cut off too much and it really was bothering me because you could see, you could see that piece of paper. So I just added the ribbon and on the front and then um, on the back. So that's what I did for that. And then I found my middle, which I always do first. And this happened to be, I'm trying to use up all of my things that I had cut out or my scraps that I didn't use for Christmas, which unfortunately I wasn't able to do a lot for Christmas this year because I have been <clears throat> not feeling well. So um, anyway, I'm trying to use up things from that that's not screaming Christmas, but more winter. So this was supposed to be a cone that I was going to make for my Christmas tree. And all you did was um, you cut it out and then you rounded it. Let me see if I have one in my um, book here. This is, if you are interested in one of these, I have, in making one of these, I have a video on it in my playlist. But um, just let me see if I can find one of those little ones because I thought that I had more already stitched um, of little ones, but I don't seem to find them. So in any event, this is what I usually do when I start a project. And um, in here is all my fussy cuts. I put them all in here. And I don't typically use a theme of paper when I do create it because once Christmas is over, this is all going to be put away in file folders. Um, and these will be put in snap bags. And um, I'll use this again for another project. And it folds up really easily. So that's that. I'm not sure where I put that cone, so I can't even give you an example, um, which is really too bad because it was here and now it's not. So I will, um, I'll try to explain it to you anyway. You just take it and you fold it and attach it and then you put a wire on it. Um, I have some um, wire, uh, some tinsel covered um, wire and then you put a wire on the cone and then you put little sprigs of like flowers and baby's breath and you hang it on your Christmas tree. Only I never got to do that. So I, I'm using this as a pocket and putting some postcards in there, which I have not backed yet, but they will get backed um, in there. And I'll probably put other things in there as well, but that's just what I do. I do my center page and your center page is very, very easily found because all you have to do is kind of do that and it will open up exactly to the center. There's a string that I'm sure you can't see, but you just snip that string and this whole thing will come out in one lump sum. So you don't have to tear it out, just pull it out with one lump sum. And then you can use this in your other journals for whatever reason. Um, and then the cover I use for to make journals. <laughs> Um, it's great chipboard and it's, you know, I mean, if you can get it on sale when school starts, uh, typically you can get these at Staples or even this came from dollar store cause it's this jot on it, but Staples will have a six pack for like $4 and you've got great chipboard for any kind of journal that you want to make. So that's what I've done so far today. We are going to just do a quick make. I showed you yesterday of this, which I am going to give to any subscriber who is a subscriber in um, comments on la yesterday's video. Um, I'll be doing a draw on this. I said I'd be doing it today, but I'm not. I'm going to wait and hold off because a lot of people don't know about it. So um, anyway, this is what goes inside the pocket in the back and that's it and this is what we're going to make today for this journal and all of it is is there's a pocket here and this has a little tag and I put some German glass here for the wings 
I don't know if that will show up very well on camera, but it's a very pretty. And then um, I backed it with avocado stain paper and stitched around it. And it looks like I left the threads. <laughs> so I'll just snip those off. There we go. And um, so yeah, it makes a perfect card. And then I had, you know, just a scrap paper there and I glued the two pieces together and, and then just sewed around it. And that's all I did. That slides in here. And then in the back, I had um, an old postcard. So I made it um, to look old. I used some um, chalks and then I used a little bit of blue chalk and some pink chalk, a little bit of yellow. And then I highlighted the wings with like a taupe chalk and um, made a little picture or postcard or whatever the recipient would like to do with it. And that's the other pocket. And then on the back, I just took a little tiny piece and put this here. And I layered it with some lace and some paper so that it would all kind of combine together and look nice. So that's what we're going to make for our journal. And I'll just leave that there so that I can refer to it because it was a while since I made it. And I'm going to move our journal over to here. And this is just there. So all you need to do is figure out which side of your paper you're going to use. I printed this double-sided and all I did was I printed this side first and then I put it back in my printer and I printed this side. That's all I did. So we're going to fold it the long way. So the 11 and a half inch is the long way. And you're just going to make sure, you know, your ends meet before you do fold it. And then you're going to fold it in half. And that is pretty much what you're going to do. Okay. And then you're going to open it back up. And you're going to fold this here, but not, not right up to your fold. There's a slight part there so that it doesn't impede, you know, on your fold. Then you're going to fold it in half and you're going to fold this this way, but not as much as you folded this. So this is about four inches here. So yeah, you're folding this down four inches. This one, you're only folding three inches. So just to recap, folding it in half, folding it in half, okay? And then you're going to close it and that's it. Okay, so does that make sense? You're going to take your paper, you're going to fold it this way, and fold it this way. Open it back up, and I fold this here. I'm sorry, you're gonna fold this this way, you're going to turn it over, you're gonna fold this this way. Then you're going to refold it back up like this. And you're going to bring this back around. And this is what you end up with. Okay. So that's that. Um, and that's why it needs to be double sided because this one that I made, it wasn't double sided. So I had to glue a piece in here because when I folded it, it was white. I had to glue a piece in here. And then when I made the punch, I had to glue a small piece here because you could see white and that bothered me. So anyway, that's all you do to make that. And then all you do is take your glue. You wanna glue this down. And you can use any kind of glue for this. I just prefer the Fabri-Tac. It dries fast, it doesn't warp my paper, and that's why I use it. 
and then just fold that down. And the same thing with this one. You're just keeping it folded down so nothing gets stuck in there on you. So that's why you're gluing it down. Okay, so that's that. So you've got these two pieces, they're folded down, they're glued, everything looks great. You folded it. Now what you're going to do, because you want to have this be a pocket here at the top and this be a pocket here. Let me show you. We're going to have a pocket here. Okay. And I'm sorry. How did I do that? We're going to have a pocket here. Oh, I know what I did. Um, okay, I think something, all right. I know what happened. I know what happened. We want to I do this and this. Right. That's what I did wrong. You want to cut this off and save it because you're going to use it. I am so sorry. I just realized that because this piece here is going to go on your back. Okay? So... I just realized that. I am so sorry. So anyway, you're going to fold it this way. You're going to open it up. You're going to fold this four inches. Fold it back up again. Fold this this way three inches. Close it. I'm sorry. Then you're going to take this and you're going to cut it along this line, but you're not going to throw it away because you're going to need it. And I'm just going to cut it this way because I can see my fold better. Hold on one second, please. Thank you. I couldn't even see it. I know that you can't, for sure. So we're going to cut that right on that fold line. Right, yes, and then we're going to cut on this fold line. But like I said, don't throw it away because we're gonna need it. Okay, does that make sense? So there's your paper. When you're done, that's the way it should look. You should have um, eight and a half by 11 is folded this way four inches and it's folded this way three inches okay folded the long way and then this comes around back like this and then this unfortunately we're going to have to cover up mr bear that's going to be your pocket in the back okay so you'll have your pocket here Oops. You'll have your pocket here. You'll have your pocket here. You'll have a pocket here and here. Okay? Makes sense? I hope. <laughs> and I have a way of not having to get rid of that bear. And I think I'll put this on the inside. And that way we don't lose the bear. We still have that Mr. Bear there because I really like him. Okay, so that's it. That's all you have to do. And then you glue down those flaps like I suggested. Then you're going to glue along the bottom here. 
I'm really sorry about that. I hadn't folded that in a while and I just got so confused. Uh, let's see, hold on. I want to save that there. So I am going to put this in here. But I'm only, I'm not going to glue here. I'm just going to glue here, here, right. I, I'm only going to glue here and here. here and here not right up against your fold and then I'm going to attach that here and I probably should have put my thumb notches in first because it would have been easier but that's okay so I just put this on in the inside because I really wanted to keep that bare on the outside And I'm just going to slide this down a little bit. Thank goodness for Fabri-Tac. It's a little bit forgiving, especially when you don't have your edges lined up perfectly. And there's always going to be trimming um, when you're gluing pieces together or when you're folding. So don't get all worried about that. You might have to do some trimming or um, a little bit of, you know, more burnishing with your fingers or what have you to make it look more even and this happens to be pretty even here we go now what i'm going to do is let's see how i did this um, I came around back, that's the forward. We are going to glue the top as well, because we need this to slide in that way. There we go. And I'm just gonna take my thumb punch now and make a punch right there so that my card or my tag, whatever, will go inside there. And I know what I just, I just remembered something. Let me just find a piece of um, paper. I just remembered what I did. And I'll find something that matches good. I hope. <laughs> no, that's not going to work. This will. Okay, so this piece is the piece where this will go in. No, I know. Never mind. We're fine. <laughs> okay, I'm going to make my thumb notch here. We're continuing on. And I'm just eyeballing it to where my half point is. And I'm going to thumb notch that so that my tag can slide in there. Like so. Okay. Yes. And then we're just going to glue the bottom here.
and we're going to glue here. And we're going to glue here, but we're leaving the top open. Okay, and I'm sorry for the confusion. <laughs> so, there we go. All set. And then just give it a squeeze. Make sure that your pocket is not going to be impeded at all by how much glue that you put on. You know, make sure you, your tag is gonna fit whatever your tag. I'd probably decide on my tag before the pocket just so that you make sure it's going to fit, which I'm pretty sure the one I have chosen is going to fit. And that's all you're going to do for that. Okay, so we've got that done. Now I'm going to put a tag on the inside. So I will open this up and I will look through here because I'm pretty sure I know what I want to do. This is where I keep all my postcards of children and angels. <laughs> so I want to find something that's winter but doesn't scream Christmas. This is winter. I mean, she's pretty. It's actually a little girl. And she's got, her, it looks like her mom's fur coat and her hat's adorable. And she's playing um, the violin. Um, I like that one. It's very sweet. It's got a Christmas tree in it. Okay, we'll just pull that out. That's good enough. And I just keep things in here with the paper clip. which is right here. <laughs> I might use that, actually. There it is. And then we'll just put this away for now and take what I think I've chosen out. Put this over here. Okay, so we can put this away now because we're all done using it for now. So here we go. That's our little pocket. We have a pocket here. We have a pocket here. We have a pocket here. And I did put a pocket on the back of this. I glued this pocket on for an added pocket when I made it. But I'm not going to do that for this one because I really want to keep this bare and it's not a big deal that we have it because we can still put the postcard in here. We can put one in here. We've got this space here. Um, and so, yeah, it's, you know, I just think it's really nice and I'm going to use this as a floating pocket. So now I just have to figure out which tag I'm going to put inside and which I'm gonna put outside. And I really like, where is that one? This one. I'll likely have to cut it down maybe a little bit. Nope, it slides right in. Perfect. And let's see. Um, about decorating the front. This is just a little, um, some snowbirds. Looks like a robin and some blue jays, maybe some finches. It's really cute. 
but definitely something more. Um, perhaps, um, let's see. Oh, wait a minute. I really like that much better. So I'm just gonna cut a little bit of this off and I'm going to use that for um, the front. It's a little girl and she's got a few little rabbits here and she's in the snow. So I'm definitely gonna use that one for there. And we'll use that maybe for a little tag. So I'm just gonna cut this down a little bit on both sides. And I did find my my um, blade. It was right beside me the whole time last night, yesterday when I was filming, which is crazy, but it happens. So let's see how much I need to take off of here, because I'm I'm gonna have to do it from both sides because I don't want to take too much off of one and not the other. So I can't cut worth beans, so I use a blade. And I never have a problem with my glass mat. I haven't yet, and I've been using this on my glass mat forever. I don't know why it doesn't scratch. I, it's Tim Holtz. I have no idea why it doesn't scratch. I'm sure on a regular glass something it would. And I do have a mat, but it doesn't. Um, it's my sewing mat and I can't really cut on it. It leaves grooves, so it's not, it's not really meant for this. My rotary blade is fine, but for some reason, if I try and use any kind of craft blade, um, it, it marks it, it puts a, a groove in it, and that fits perfectly. I'm really happy about that. This is just a little bit more. I'm just gonna take a shred more off of that and we'll call it done. Be helpful if I opened it. I never asked how everybody was doing. I hope you're all having a fantastic Christmas Eve. I can't believe it's Christmas Eve. It was just June. <laughs> I, I just, it's just kind of crazy. We'll be leaving tomorrow morning quite early. We have a five hour drive to see our children who we haven't seen in, yikes, October. Probably about four months we did see um, in person, we saw our son, he came and surprised me for my birthday um, because we had had a new grandchild born in May, but um, we were unable to see him due to health reasons. My husband had had a, um, a severe near fatal heart attack in May and we moved in May and we retired in May and yeah so we never we weren't able to see him we did see him obviously on FaceTime and things Skype and what have you but it wasn't the same so I got to do lots of cuddling I don't know why that's still going over that edge let me just cut a little bit more off of this edge and we'll be done <laughs> I just wanted to give you ways of being able to decorate the front so it doesn't look so, it kind of breaks it up. It breaks up that pattern. And by all means, if you wanted to have a pocket on the back, you could do this absolutely. Um, but for me, like I said, I just don't want to lose that. I just think it's adorable and it really goes well with my theme. Um, although it doesn't really have a theme, it's just winter. But anyway, <laughs> some of the papers I'm using. And she is finally good. She fits on there really well. But before I do that, I might add a piece of something under her. I'm not sure what, if anything. I think I'm just gonna leave it alone and add a sentiment. 
I just don't want to take it away, take away from her. So. I'll just do this. I like layering um, and I like to incorporate fabrics and laces um, whenever I whenever I um, make something. But for this, I just don't think it needs it. that it's nice and straight. I am going to have to chip a little tiny bit off that corner, but not much. Just a tiny bit without cutting the paper behind it. There we go. Just a little tiny bit. So that's that. Let me look in my sentiment box and try and find something that goes well with that let's see i have tons of christmas words cut out um but i don't want noel and i don't want peace on earth i definitely don't want merry christmas um let's see um blue's pretty How about, oh, no, I think I better do something that's plain. Let's see. Um, oh, this is perfect. She is scattering seeds for the bunnies. And I found one of my sentiments is scatter love and kindness. So I'm going to use that. But I definitely need something behind that, which is very easy to, to do because I have some, some little um, see if this is too big. It is too big. Hold on one second. Hmm. I know I have more. I'm just going to cut this down. But not with these scissors. <laughs> oh, these. Just so it fits. It's a little bit too big for the sentiment. It's got her love and kindness. I love that. Okay, here. And then one more. There we go. I think that shows up pretty well. I like that a lot. So we're going to do that. I'm just going to move it over just a tad down. Okay. Let's commit to that and glue it down.
think where this is straight because I cut it. So I just want to make sure I straighten it out a little bit. I don't know if any of you have trouble like I do with cutting, but it's almost impossible for me to get it straight. And I've never had that problem with sewing. This still isn't straight. I'm going to have to use my blade because it's still not straight. Actually, I think it is now. Yes, it is. It's straight. <laughs> There we go, let's commit to this. Scatter love and kindness. Love how that came together like that. No plan, just go with it. And then I'm just gonna cut this along the edge again, just like I did the other. Just snip that off without snipping your paper. And there you have your front cover. The back, I think, lends to itself. I don't think it needs anything. And then you've got your picture in here, which um, that's very simple. I'm actually going to just sew something along the edge, um, which will likely be possibly um, that might actually be too gold. I know. I have something right here. So what I'll do is choose something that I think is fitting, which I already see something here and here. And what I'll do is just take it I'm not going to use the whole thing. just want to make sure which one. It doesn't matter. They're both the same. I'm just going to take it. I'm going to fold it in half like this. Make sure my ends meet. This is a two inch circle. And then I'm going to I'm going to glue that right about there so that when it's Let's slide it back in here. Yeah, you're going to just glue it so that the person can see that they're pulling it out. Okay, and that's the middle of it. That's a good way to show you where the middle is. So you just lift this up and put a little bit of glue there. I'm <clears throat> losing my voice again. Sorry. Stick that down. And like I said, I'm going to likely stitch that because um, I just don't ever want it to come off um, on the person. And... Just put a dot of glue. If you're not sewing it, go ahead and glue all the way around. And then it will stick, the edges will stick together. And there you'll have your little pull to pull in and out of your pocket.
And like I said, you can easily do the pocket on the back by gluing a pocket, you know, gluing one of your scrap pieces onto the back, but it's definitely not necessary because if you'll see, I can definitely put a postcard right here. There's a postcard right there. I could do, um, let's see, I could do another one right here. Actually, I might use that. It says Merry Winter. You could put one there. And then I always love to incorporate um, sentiments and things like that. So, you know, I could do that as well. Um, you can put things in there to, um, for the person to embellish further. So I will do that now so I don't forget and send it off without it. So I'll put, um, this says, find comfort in loving memories. I'll stick that in there for them. Did I glue that? No. So I'll put that in there. And let's see. Um, what a beautiful day for a daydream. That could would look really nice on a page. Believe in you. And let's see. Let beauty surround you in all things. And we'll put that there. And we will call this, for now, we'll call this done. And I have... Um, some altered paper clips that I'm going to be making for this journal. So we'll use one of those to um, put inside to be able to clip this onto one of our pages. And so there you have it, today's um, little um, make. And I'm really sorry about the folding. I, I got so confused there for a minute. I couldn't remember that I had, I had glued a, a pocket onto the back of that, but in any event, let's take our journal and find a spot for where we want this to go. And I certainly don't want to cover up any paper. I think it's going to go right there on my blank blue page. And we will for now pretend that this is our paper clip here. Let's push this in a little bit more. We'll pretend that this is the paper clip that we're going to use for it. It's not because we're going to have a covered paper clip for it. And this is nice and sturdy because we glued several pages of the white paper together, two of them. And then I put a piece of copy paper, very cheap, run of the mill copy paper. You can find it at the grocery store. Um, and I put one on the back so it's nice and sturdy and it can hold anything. This is only made out of copy paper as well. So anything I make for a altered composition notebook or an altered book, I use copy paper. The colors come out just as vibrant and I have no problem. And I have a um, HP uh, photo, um, not laser, um, I just lost the word. I think you know. I'm so sorry. I am so tired. Um, it's not a laser. It is a... Oh, there goes that word. Um, so anyway, thank you for stopping by. I'm sorry that this took so long. I hope that you like this journal so far. And I will be back on Tuesday after I visit with my children and after you are done with yours. So, Merry Christmas, everybody. Happy, healthy, prosperous, abundantly in all areas. New Year. Bye-bye, everybody.